Okay, here with uh, Trey Johnson. So coming into Hoop Fest tomorrow, you know, first in IBC event. What's your mentality coming into this event? Uh, just coming in, trying to get two wins, going two and zero. Let's see where the team is at against other good teams. For sure. Um, you know, it's been about a year and a half since you last did an interview with uh, with us, Pro Insight. How do you feel like your game has kind of developed in that past year and a half? Uh, for the better, I would say, just becoming a better defender, team defender, and also being a better facilitator, playmaker. Mm -hmm. For sure. Any guys that you kind of study uh, in terms of like playmaking and stuff? Uh, I study Tyrese Halliburton and Shea is for playmaking. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, decided to go to Link uh, this year. Like, what what led to that decision? Uh, just thought it was a good coaching staff and a good idea to come in and saw other guys that came in and improved other game. And I just wanted to go where it was competition so I get pushed every day in practice and then play a talented national schedule. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of talented teammates who you saw in practice and stuff like that. You know, what do you feel like your role is uh, with this team? Uh, I feel like it's still to score, but still play make for others because nobody's going to let me go one-on-one -on -one and score and break my man down. Somebody's going to have to help, so just making the right read when it's open. For sure. Um, any, like, personal goals and stuff like that coming in this season? No, nah, not really. Just to improve each and every day. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, congrats on your commitment as well to Texas and stuff like that. Um, you know, what, what made Texas the right fit? Uh, just the coaching staff, and then just I thought the family culture overall, and then they also are a team that play defense. So I just thought that was a good fit for me. Mm -hmm. and what was uh, Coach uh, Coach Gary's reaction when you broke the news to him? Uh, he was excited because he's always been recruiting Texas and always tries to get players to stay in Texas. So that was just a good pickup for him. Yeah, like uh, a lot of guys come out of Texas and stuff like that. But what's it mean to you to to represent your home state? Uh, it just means everything. He's back when I was at Lake Collins representing my home state then, going to win states so and just trying to go win a national championship at Texas. Mm -hmm. You know, describe the basketball culture down there. You know, you're from Dallas, a lot of hoopers come out of there, but what's the culture like? In Dallas? Uh, Dallas and I guess the whole state of Texas, like what's the basketball culture like? Uh, it's real competitive. Uh, we don't get too caught up in the rankings, all that. We're just trying to come out and play hard each and every day. Mm -hmm. Have you received like any uh, good advice or stay in touch with a lot of guys like Cade and Tyrese, uh, uh, Max and stuff like, like guys who have come before you? Yeah, I get advice here and there just to stay in the gym and keep stacking days basically, keep my head down, keep working. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, you know, getting to know you a little bit like off the court, like outside of basketball, any like hobbies, interests, stuff like that? No, nah, I'm either just playing a game, taking a nap or reading, yeah. really that. Uh, what are like some good books you've been reading? Uh, just really life lessons books, mainly uh, Joshua Metcalf books. Okay. Is that something you've always been like big into self-help stuff and like uh, the mental aspect? No, nah, my dad recently put me onto it not too long ago. You know, come from an athletic family, uh, touching on your dad and stuff like that. Like, what are some things that uh, like he's instilled that like both your dad and your mom have instilled in you over the years? Just the hard work that they just that whatever I'm doing off the court is gonna lead on to the court. It don't gotta be basketball related. It's just how what you how you carry yourself and what you do. You know, you've been a like a highly ranked prospect for a while, five star guy. You know, at AAU guys are coming at you and stuff like that. How do you tend to manage like any like internal or external expectations? What you mean? Like, how do you you know? There can be a lot of pressure that comes yeah. from being like a highly like a lot of attention, you know, media stuff uh, as well. Like, how do you deal with uh, any sort of pressure that way? Uh, I don't tend to bother. Like, I don't care about nobody else's expectations for myself. I got my own, me and my dad got my own expectations because that's the only person that's in the gym working out with me. So we know what it should and shouldn't look like. So I'm not really worried about what somebody else think I should be doing or where I should be at. For sure. Um, who are, like, some of the toughest players that you've had to guard in your high school career? Uh, I probably had to guard Case and Wallace. That was probably a tough one. And Ryland Griffin, that was probably two tough ones. AU was, I got to think about it, but it was probably two tough matchups I had to guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, if you could go out to dinner with anybody, like past or present, uh, like who would you go out to dinner with and why? Uh, who? 
I probably want to have dinner with LeBron because, like, he make an NBA salary just like everybody else just to see what he invested in and pick his brain with the way he handled his money is probably something I want to learn about. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, a couple more questions, but what do you hope to kind of improve on before you get to campus uh, next year? Uh, just my overall defense and rebounding and also just my playmaking ability. Try to get as good as I can before I get there so it's not having to learn too much stuff or getting taught too many different things. And yeah, we'll wrap it up with this, but you know, what's your message to the Longhorn fans that are excited about your commitment? It's just a team player, great leader, and a winner. That's all. That's all I'm trying to bring. Awesome. Thank you, man. Yes, sir.